If you'd just like to wait out here, sir. I need to speak with Eddie. The young master and her ladyship are otherwise detained. Fair enough. belongings of Eddie's mother. Thank you for your last letter. My heart soars with every word of yours I read. I touch the ink and imagine your fingers are just inches from mine. That we can almost touch. That I can almost feel the warmth of your skin once more. Young Edward grows more like his father each day. You'd be amazed how he shares your looks. I long for the day that this terrible war is ended and you return home to us so we can be a family once more. I shall write to you again soon. Know that until then you are always in our hearts, your loving wife, Clara. The date? She was writing this when the death notice arrived. Oh, the poor woman. I regret to inform you that your husband, Corporal Victor Mallory, number 874511, was killed in action with the enemy on the day of the 14th of September in Ypres. Your husband was involved in an advance against enemy lines. While he and his fellow soldiers fell, the action was successful, and you can take comfort in knowing his sacrifice saved many lives. It was not possible to get his remains away, and he was buried in a soldier's grave. Please accept the condolences of all the company. Yours. Captain Arthur Jones, 4th Army. Recognize that? The necklace. Is that...? A young Eddie and his mother Clara. Eddie, I need to ask you about the maid. About Ailsa. You didn't know her! I know that you and her were... that is to say, I know you had feelings for her. What? 
That's poppycock. You're as deranged as your father was. David, really? You go too far with this behaviour. The police will be here soon. Would you not prefer to clear this up before they get here in case they link Eddie with the crime? Now look here, young lady. How dare you speak? That's enough. Eddie. You gave her this. It was your mother's. Uh, I did. It was. Eddie! I was just trying to cheer her up. She has nothing, and I had no need of it. You know she sends... <sighs> you know she sent most of her money home to her grandmother. Her clothing was ripped, as if someone was trying to force themselves upon her. I would never have hurt her. My little doe. Strange thing to call the help. Uh, how? It was just... Just harmless fun, that's all. You're a worthless liar. You think she thought being pressed against a dead animal was harmless fun? How do you know? It's true. Elsa and I... I would never have laid a finger on her. <laughs> we were in love. I helped her with everything. Even with her chores. Uh, uh, Rose and... That's quite enough. Eddie, you are obviously upset. And you are not helping, David. Angus, will you please take the young master upstairs? As you say, ma'am. I think you have caused quite enough disruption here. We shall settle this heritage dilemma first thing tomorrow. I don't think so. I have more questions now than ever about my father, the maid, this whole damn house. Have a care, David. Need I remind you of your father's temper? I would never. Given the current mental state of Master Eddie, who should be a part of the heritage considerations, any discussion on the topic would be futile at this point. Would you not agree? Thank you, Leah. Maybe it's a good thing you're here after all. Impudent brats! What's going on? Did you notice when Margaret got angry? When Eddie mentioned chores involving Rose. What does that mean? It can only have something to do with Lady Rosemary and Aunt Cecilia. And whatever the maid was doing in the attic. The attic? I saw the maid coming down the stairs with a tray, but there's nothing up there but an empty room, or so I thought. Interesting. What is it, David? I have to see. David, wait! You have to start confiding in me, David. What are you seeing? I think I'm seeing... ghosts. Ghosts of those who have died here. I see my father as a child. He's trying to communicate with me. Perhaps you visited here as a child. Maybe you're remembering stories a father told you of this place when you were young. You see? I said you wouldn't believe me. If I'm only remembering things, how would I have known where to find a pendant? How could I have known he tried to force himself on her? Unless you think I killed her. I don't think you killed anyone, David. And you're right. I can't explain it. So? So, we focus on the facts as we know them. Go on. You saw the maid's body. Her neck was broken. That was the work of a human, not a ghost, yes? I, I suppose so, yes. Lady Margaret knows more than she's saying, that's for sure. 
Godspeed getting anything out of that old hag. No, I know. But Eddie might be an easier option. Yes. Yes, we need to find him. And make sure Margaret isn't there to interrupt. I believe she's already gone to bed, but I'll check. You go find Eddie. Well, that's clear enough. Hello, my dear Elsa. Hello, Sir Edward. You look very handsome today. Eddie? Why, thank you. You are as beautiful as ever, my little doll. Oh, mwah, mwah. Eddie, can you hear me? What can you tell me about Great Grandmother Rose? What did Elsa have to do? Daddy! Self-made dolls. Ugh. The stuff of nightmares. What do you see here, Eddie? You'll be quite safe, the little rabbit said to his brothers and sisters. The fox is fast asleep, so the rabbits tiptoed past, but the fox was sly. He wasn't asleep at all. He opened his eyes. I've warned you before to mind your place. This will be the last time you defy me. The eyes of the fox, they shone with cruel light as he punched on the rabbits and ate them all, one by one. It was only then he went to sleep, his tummy full, his heart content. Secret passage. What do you think you're doing? That won't be long, I hope. Look after Eddie. Just a little further. That's it. Open wide. Good. Good. I don't I want any. That's all right, dear. Did I tell you that John's son David has arrived? He's as bothersome as his father. Not worthy of this place. Poor Angus will never recover from the sight of John's charred remains. Selfish, selfish man. Please. Don't. I do not enjoy this, as you well know, but you brought it on yourself. 
Your son was a good man. You should not have defied him. Rosemary. Oh my god. She's barely skin and bones. How is she still alive? Which it was in the bookcase. You scared me half to death. Well, you will insist on wandering off without telling me where you're going, and I just managed to avoid Lady Margaret when <laughs> Jesus God. I saw this. In a vision. Edward beat her with it. Used it to cripple the poor woman. Oh my god. And he hung it there to remind her every day. Take it down. You're sure? Do it. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Where are you going? We can't leave her like this. Rose? Rosemary? Can you hear me? Rose? Rosemary? Can you hear me? Rose? Rosemary, I'm David, John's son, your great-grandson. Here, try this. No, like this. Gently. Who did this to you? Edward. I was bad. Disobeyed. Disobeyed? How did you disobey? Cecilia. I tried to stop him. Stop what he was doing. What was he doing, Rosemary? Should not have disobeyed. <laughs> Not disturb him in the old wing. Never talk back. Rose! Rose! What did he do to Cecilia? I don't think you'll get anything more out of her. Poor woman. Come on, Lady Rosemary. We'll get you out of here. No! We can get you somewhere safe. I'm safe here. In this room. Safe from the black mirror. <laughs> the black mirror. Margaret has a lot to explain. I think we need to have words with her ladyship.
Margaret, we need to talk about... Lady Margaret, if you please. Never mind that. What the hell are you doing with Rosemary? You'll want to talk. You're just like your father, leaving nothing but fear and misery in your wake. What in God's name are you talking about? You spoke to young Eddie, did you not? Now he's convinced everyone is trying to kill him. He has taken poor Andrew hostage and is threatening his life. Where is he? He's taken him to the old wing, and he is armed. I'll go. I can talk to him. You will not. You two have caused quite enough trouble already. We? How dare you, when you continue to worship Edward, even though he drove poor Cecilia to drown herself? I will not allow you to... To what? To speak the truth? To say that Edward... He never touched her! You come here, and you... No, you. You are the one in the wrong here. You know more than you're saying, and we both know it. There's something in this place. An evil that has plagued our family for generations. Instead of blaming others, maybe you should look closer to home for the cause of your misfortune. You know nothing. What I did, what I do, everything, everything is for this family. How can you possibly understand? Please, my lady, we can discuss this later. Miss Farber, you need to speak to Master Eddie. Take us to him. This way. Uh, have a care in the old wing. It isn't used, and for good reason. A section of wall fell into the sea some years back, and the rest is falling to ruin. Stay back here. I'll try to reason with him. You will not. This is what I do. <sighs> Eddie? Talk to me, Eddie. Tell me what's troubling you. Troubling me? He is! And David! They all are! They all are what, Eddie? Accusing me! I might make it, they think I, I killed her! Hamlet the maid, killed. you mean? But I didn't! I didn't! I no, believe you, Eddie. I believe she's you. She's keeping him distracted. But I'm not sure she can talk him into dropping the gun. He seems too far gone for that. What are you doing? One more step, and I kill him! He can't see me from here. This might be a way across. Steady now.
Please, please let me go. Why should I? You liar! Liar! I'm not. Please, I'm not. Of course you are. You're a lawyer. You think I couldn't hear you whispering about abducting me, about accusing me of still. murder. Let him go, Eddie. Everything is all right. Come here! Bloody fool. Seems intact. Now for some ammunition. Bits of bone. Should work if I'm careful. Seems intact. Let's hope this doesn't snap under the strain. Leave me alone! I told you! Leave me alone! Eddie, stop! What? What happened? Relax. Everything's fine. Fine? Are you out of your mind? Oh, please. Contain yourself, Andrew. I most certainly will not. And I'm not spending another moment in this madhouse. I will fetch the police from the village immediately. I don't think that would be wise, sir. Are you threatening me? Perish the thought, sir. I'm merely pointing out the folly of driving these roads in the dark. And besides, we may need the car if Eddie's condition worsens. The insane brat can jump off the roof for all I care. I, for one, would rather risk my life out there than in here. Leave, then. And before you even think of telling anyone what happened here, just remember who you are dealing with. And yes, you may consider that a threat. Angus, kindly help me with young Eddie. Careful now, just take it slowly. I'm... Sorry I didn't believe you. Science took a beating tonight. After seeing what happened here, I think even Dr. Freud would agree with you. The mirror. I think it's some kind of dark force. Uh, an ancient evil summoned by the Druids. And they lost control over it. I believe they never had control. I need to check up on Eddie and make sure he's all right. Uh, have you forgotten that he tried to kill you? So, I'll be careful then. He's a person in need, no matter what he did. My father tried to destroy the mirror. To end the evil, but he failed. Now he's trapped in there. Are you talking about his soul? If that's what you want to call it. All I know is... I... We have to find a way to free him. Edward knew of the mirror. He may have even understood its power. So we know what it is, but not where. It's underground. Somewhere. Reaching it. Well, that's the real conundrum. And how not to end up like your father. This... This is Edward's lair. And Margaret was none too eager on us prying. So we should pry. Indeed. Another one. Like the symbols carved on the rocks. Rory. Yes. He might know what it means. 
He'll probably be asleep at this late hour, though. The first time I met him was in the dead of night. So who knows? We might get lucky. <laughs>